Hello, this is Jan from Red Toad Art Studio, and it is a beautiful rainy spring day here today, and it makes me think of Easter, which is not too far away. So we are going to draw a cute little bunny. This could be the Easter bunny, or just a cute little spring bunny. So, you won't need too much for this, but decide how you want to finish your picture. If you just want to use your colored pencils or just draw it, you can use any kind of paper you want. But if you want to use markers or if you want to watercolor it, you probably will need some mixed media paper or some watercolor paper. Today, I'm going to use watercolor paper. You will also need a pencil an eraser, and something to ink your picture with. And then in our next video, we will watercolor it. One more thing you might like to do is download our free instruction sheet that's online at our website that takes you step by step through drawing this cute little bunny. Here he is finished. So let's get started. We'll just move him over and we'll get here. And he's really easy to draw. The first thing you'll need to do is draw a circle for his tummy. and Put this down low on your paper so you have room for his head and his ears. So, draw lightly at first so that you can erase some of these lines. So a nice, decent sized circle right here on the bottom of your page. Now this circle doesn't have to be perfect. Can you see that? Okay. Now, step two is to draw a slightly smaller circle that overlaps this circle. And this will be for the bunny's head. There we go. Okay, this is his tummy. And this is his head. Now, to kind of hook these together, we're going to give him fur here at the side of his neck where it connects to his body. We're still drawing fairly lightly because now we want to erase these two lines here in the center. we go. Next, let's add some ears. Go at the top of his head. Now you could have two ears that go straight up like this. Make him whatever size you'd like to have them. Maybe you want short bunny ears or long bunny ears. Now I like to have one crooked ear. It just gives my bunny character. So to draw a crooked ear, just kind of do like that. There we go. We have his ears. Now, I'm going to come through like this. This will be like the pink inner part of his ears. He's kind of twitching his ears. And I'm going to get rid of this funny line right here and do it over again. There we go. And let's put the pink part of his ear right there. There. See, it's looking like a bunny already. Next, let's put some legs in. So come down here along his side and just kind of follow that, that uh, line of his tummy around. And then when you get close to the bottom, come out with a foot. Just like that. And then come up like this. And there's his foot. Now we need to do the same thing on this side, which can be a little bit of a challenge sometimes, to make it pretty much the same size. Now it doesn't have to be exactly the same, but just close to it. There we go. Now, 
we want to erase this line right here on his leg. Now, let's work on his face a little bit. Now, bunnies have noses that are a little different. Um, there's Cats kind of have, a, have like a... a a straight line and then it goes down in a V. For bunnies it's more just that V shape. Just kind of like that. Almost like a cat's nose but not quite. And then from the center of that V it comes down in a little straight line just like that. So now let's put in some eyes. Now a real rabbit, if you were doing a realistic drawing, they have their eyes on the sides of their heads. So if you would put these on the sides, you wouldn't see them much. So we're going to do a cartoon type eye on our cute little bunnies today. So just come up here and do something like that. And match it on the other side. And there's our eyes. And then we're going to draw kind of the top of his muzzle. Underneath this, just kind of curve it under the eye and come down just a little bit like that. See how he's coming together already? And then you'll need to know what you want to do if you want to just uh, use your ink and make black eyes here or if you want to color them a color. That will be up to you, but let's just go ahead and draw in the eye there a little bit. Let's see what we do next. We're on the second page now. Let's come down here and finish his little mouth, and it will give him his little mouth and cheeks. Isn't he cute? I think he's so cute already. Now, I'm going to ask you a question. Do rabbits have whiskers like cats have? I've asked several people that question today, and they all look at me just a little bit funny. It's like, do rabbits have whiskers? Oh, I'm not sure. But yes, rabbits have whiskers, and they have the same per they have the same purpose as cat whiskers. So we're going to give our rabbit whiskers. There we go. I'm three on each side from mine, but you do what you want with your little rabbit. Let's see what else. Here, I'm going to do a little chinny chin chin. That could be a chin or a little tongue sticking out. Or if you like the cute rabbits that have two front teeth, you could put those right there. We are almost done. Ah, some eyebrows. Just give him some eyebrows. There we go. We're almost done with this little guy. Let's have some tail. Now, in all honesty, if the rabbit was facing you front on like this, you probably wouldn't see his tail. But in our drawing, it's kind of cute just to have a little bit of tail poking out here. A nice little fluffy powder puff of a tail. There we go. Maybe a little more there. There we are. Now, if you noticed on my picture of my rabbit, I had a little heart here. Now, that's purely optional. But I think it's cute to have a little sewn-on heart. Sewn with love, or so, I don't know, something like that. Because here's the heart, and then when we ink it, we can put in little stitch marks. I think... You know, we're ready to ink already. Alrighty, get you a uh, something like a Sharpie, a pen that will not smear and smudge if you're going to paint it or use markers on it. Now, if you're going to do just a, um, a drawing with pencil, you don't need to do this part. Go in and just, just firm up these lines, erase anything that shouldn't be there, like... I like to erase this line right here on its ears. And just finish it up in pencil it will be very cute. But since I'm going to paint this one, I want to go ahead and ink it. We will speed this up a little bit so you don't have to 
sit through my whole inking process here. Now on these eyes, I want good dark eyes, so I'm going to do them with my ink. So I need to mark off little spots here that will be the little gleam in his eye that makes him look alive so that I don't color that in completely. And then I'm just going to fill this with ink. If you miss the gleam, you can come in later after everything's dry and use a, a white paint pen or some white acrylic paint, some craft paint, or some white gouache and just dab in some white. I kind of filled that one in more than I meant to. But you can always fix that if you forget it. A white gel pen will also work. There we go. He is all inked. The next thing we need to do with him is erase any stray pencil lines. And I have a bunch of them. I even did some of the whiskers different when I came to ink it. Inking. It's what will stay and what will keep showing. You can always change your pencil lines because you can erase those. But once the ink lines are down, they're pretty much there to stay. Right, brush all the eraser crumbs off, and there he is. He is ready to color in. And we will do that in our next video, which will be up very soon here. And I hope you've had fun and that this has put you in the Easter spirit. So we'll be seeing you not too long from now in our next video. So I will say bye-bye for now.